GPH here with another video. Today, we're going for gold on Grand Valley in reverse in the Ford Roadster. This thing. Great sound. And this is what it looks like in the inside. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, to get the gold, I'm going to need a mid-120, I would say. I'm going to go with the bumper cam, a better driver since I am going for gold. A lot of patience required around here to get the car around the corner. I thought that was a little tighter. I don't know this uh, reverse Grand Valley very well. See where I am compared to the rest of them on my first lap. Try breaking around 200, down into second, get around here, and it's pretty much flat all the way to the, and I need a mid-120, well that's not the start finish line obviously, so that's a 124, so I only need to find 4 seconds, that's all. Like, is that insane or what? Four seconds I gotta find. Wow. I need uh, blah. Alright, well. Let's get to her. I will uh, load up a ghost after I've done the course a couple of times because I, I don't know this course very well and uh, I've never, uh, every time there's a reverse course I usually skip it because I'm like, why did they do that? Why do they put courses in reverse? But I understand. Gives them a lot of variety and hell, you just have to turn the cars around and go. And I'm sure this highway isn't necessarily, but you know, courses are designed to go a certain way. Corners are designed to go a certain way. So here's the start finish line. We get a top speed of 120, 121 wailing out in third. Gonna get this thing around the corner and break hard. Oh yeah, just slider. Whoa. That was fun. I think there's gonna be a little bit of that type of driving with this car. Um, I can't imagine, uh, you know, if I gotta find four seconds, that's not by driving around here like this roadster is actually from. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Is our finish line? Not even at the top speed. Nice trail brake around there. Keeps the car in control. A little bit of trailer braking around there on the accelerator. Try to accelerate through that slide. Brake hard and let the car come around, keeping the speed up. You can get actually a good drive out of that corner. This is the kind of a bizarre little corner. Oh, and I just got a penalty. Our uh, my lap has been. I guess I cut that a little fine. Okay, let's load a ghost up. Because uh, I don't know the track very well. Maybe if I'm following somebody, I'll do a little bit better. All right, so 124.9 is <laughs> so far off the mark. But it was my first lap around, so I shouldn't get too discouraged. Who? Oh, Hall, Hall, Hall one. 
or YouTube the key 25 uh, well YouTube the key 25 I'm sure a lot of you follow the key let's load up his ghost the key spends a lot of time driving on the sim and he's quick so uh, we'll follow him and uh, you know I'm not gonna settle for a bronze I need it minimum silver and uh, ideally and I'll eventually go and watch a replay but until I've done a couple of laps watching a replay I think is uh, I got to develop some bad habits first <laughs> And then I can go see what bad habits I've developed and get some good habits. Alright, so I'm basically with the ghost at this particular time. I'm lifting, feathering the brake. Look at, uh, he's coming through there a lot quicker. And he doesn't spin out at all. Alright, so, got to be slowing down there. But he keeps the speed going right through that, uh, that corner. So I'm obviously okay through here because I was as fast as him uh, through the line. So um, that's not going to do it. So a nice little feathering of the brakes, get the car into the apex and uh, disqualify your lap because you cut the corner too much. Look at the hangar. This little feather in at 100. Car on the apex. Stay in third. Come out and accelerate. I'm going to keep it as close to this side as I can. Key is to keep your dot on the dot as uh, that's how you get the best speed down these straightaways is to keep the steering wheel as straight as possible there's the ghost all right well he turned a lot quicker than i did there well he goes really wide probably on the accelerator all the way through there. It's a real uh, symphony between brake and accelerator. You're pretty much uh, easing the brake in as you are, are easing the brake off as you're easing the accelerator on. A feather there to stay off the wall. Coming up to the last corner, I don't seem like I'm five seconds behind him, so we're going to feather in it first, get it into the apex, get a better lap this time. I'm only uh, two or three seconds behind him. All right, let's see what I'm going to do. 18, 19, 20. Oh, see, I'm already into the 20s. So there's my silver. And I'm only a few, like I'm half a second away from gold here, so I don't think that's going to do it for me. <laughs> All right, so that's not the fastest way through there. <laughs> yeah, it's a, like I say, I was uh, too much on the brake and not enough on the accelerator. See, really easing off on the brake to allow the car to turn. Just a little bit of a lift through here so you can see the apex. All right, this course around this way isn't horribly hard. 100, ease in off the brakes onto the accelerator stay in third all right here we go let's see if this is going to be the gold lap next time around get a good run down here come to the target finish line okay and with the ghost 
I want to lift through here on the accelerator get around this corner on the accelerator nice oh I overcooked that one alrighty got a better lap going if I would have uh, get a second lift the accelerator get around the corner or lift the brake around the corner on the accelerator slight lift there full all the way through here slight lift here to get through the corner and then right on it okay I've got a couple of tents Ooh. Yeah, gaining time all the way. This could be gold right here. Get around the corner. Oh, I lost so much time there. Oh, you know why? Because I went down to third. You don't need to go to third. I went to second, rather. Stay in third. Do not go into second there. So I'll do a little bit better. But I think I need a mid... All right, I need a few more tents, and I'm going to be good, I think. So, off the accelerator, get around this corner, back on the accelerator, brake hard, ease off the brake. Oh, no. All right, I've blown this lap. Again, that law that comes in, the more you push, the more you crash. I'm uh, crashing so much in this uh, instant, but the more I push, the sloppier the lap gets. So you can keep it pretty much flat through there, all the way through there. So you're flat. Can I do flat through here? Okay, so I've held it flat through there. It doesn't seem like I'm faster going flat. So it starts sliding. So a slight lift in that corner is better. I'm already lost a second to my last lap. Stay in third through here. See how much time I gained by staying in third? No, lost the time by going wide. Fine line, very fine line. Alright, hello. Basically inside the ghost. Lifting back on the accelerator brake to keep the car in control down into second boom oops I hit the hay bale all right let's see how we did 20.68 pretty sure that's we did about 20 miles my best ultimate optimum lap if I put all the sectors together of those four laps would have been a 120.5 but I think for now it puts me in the gold I am pretty much 2,000th in the world now this just came out today so times are going to improve and that's why I wanted to be in a little lower because I believe that I'm going to need a 120.4 maybe a 120.3 to stay in the gold but we'll see how it goes but right now a couple of laps gold medal um, heck that's two million credits if it comes through and we'll uh, we'll observe this over the next little bit thank you for joining this video GP Ace out and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button